Right, here we are. My Royal Enfield Classic 350s in getting the clocks changed. It missed them up. Got condensation inside them, so they're going to change the clocks today. So they're giving me a because he's given me a loan bike, and it's the Honda CL 500. Wasn't really bothered what bike I got. I had a choice, but I never ridden one of these before. Never ridden the 500. Good to hear. See what the engine's like. All right now. It's in a bonnie blue. Brown seat, looks like a 19 inch front wheel. Blacked out exhaust. It's got a cowling on the front. From what I can see. 500cc parallel twin. And we go over at the Stobsmuir Ponds. And it's got one of these stupid cowlings on at the back. Yeah, nice looking swing arm though, better finish than my NC that's for sure, the swing arm I mean. Right, I've ridden it here, it's okay, pretty lightweight, um, There we go. There must be a change for that to up the up the contrast because it's really done. It's done. I think 740 miles. 948. Right. Let's go for a little run and see how we go. It feels sprightly enough. Clutch is very light. <coughs> the brakes feel okay, but they feel like they needn't run in. It feels a really tall bike, but it's also a very narrow bike. But I can still flat foot it, so it's it's obviously very very deceptive. But it is very narrow. That used to be an old telephone exchange, it was beautiful inside. I've obviously gutted it and uh, converted it into some kind of residential accommodation. That was uh, one of the older telephone exchanges in Dundee. We're having a game of golf today. Good weather for it. It's actually very sultry. Well, one thing I have noticed about this bike, it feels a little bit vibey. I can feel high frequency vibrations through the handlebars, once you get around 50 mile an hour I would say, through the pegs and a little bit through the seat, which is uh, a bit surprising to be honest with you. but. Um, the pegs are the worst, I could feel them now. So in order it's probably pegs, grips and then seat of severity. Um, 
Is it just needing running? Possibly. Although it's done 750 miles, so you would think that, especially a courtesy bike, demo bike, <coughs> people might have given it a bit of laldy. Anyway. Uh, you, you would have to ride it for longer to see if it would bother you. I just wonder what it'd be like sitting on the motorway at 70 miles an hour for an extended period. But in this type of road it feels absolutely fine. Engine seems perky enough. Um, I've never ridden the 500cc variant of the Honda, of any of the Hondas before so I have nothing to compare it to but I do prefer the 750nc engine to this It's a dull day but it's very warm Very very warm Thick that is. I bet there's a few deer in there. Yeah, see, it's when the revs get up on the bike. That's when the the vibrations come. And I think you do need the revs on this bike. It's only a 500cc of course, so it cannot be too critical. This uh, forest is certainly inhabited by deer because I've seen them here. So I'm just taking my time and I've got a lorry right up my chuff. I had the Honda CL500 for about maybe four or five hours that day. I took it on a good run. I quite enjoyed it. Um, my reflections on the bike is it felt it felt okay. It had enough pep in it. A little bit of vibrations when you got up to speed or when you revved it. Um, it was a very light bike. It, like I said in the in the video there, it, it felt tall but that was probably because it's quite narrow it was it was well built and the, the overriding thought for me was I didn't feel any connection to the bike I get on my Honda uh, on my uh, Royal Enfield 350 the classic 350 and instantly you're just loving riding the bike this one I would say would be like your commuting bike for getting you around the town um, but it's certainly not a bike that would interest me. So if you compare the 500, and I've heard this many times before, the 500, uh, the 500X, compared to the 750NC, uh, what's the difference is? Well, I would say the the 750 engine just seems like a more grown-up engine. It's smoother. It's got more torque. Okay, it doesn't rev so much, but I would say it's got more power as well. To be honest, um, 
but it's still a nice bike but if I had a choice between buying a 350 Classic and the CL500 there would be no no second thoughts um, I don't really know I think maybe 6 grand or something like that for this one maybe, maybe more maybe less I don't know but it's certainly uh, the Royal Enfield I would imagine is cheap so it was fine it was nice to ride it's always good to get to go out um, that'll be the last bike I ever get from Corsi and Dundee they're the Honda or they were the Honda and Royal Enfield dealer but they've uh, I think they went belly up well I know they've shut um, and they are no more so I'm now without a Honda dealer that's anywhere close by or indeed a Royal Enfield dealer so sad times all around always got a good deal out with them although they're in the last few months their customer services went through the floor I'm afraid uh, not from my experience but hey ho that's the way it is right I hope you enjoyed this little ride it's not a review it's just I got the bike I made a recording and uh, I wasn't going to publish it but now that of course he's went belly up um, I thought well might as well share it eh alright thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed bye for now <laughs>